Ahoy, shipmates. I think it's all up and running. It's a little bit windy out there today, as you can see on the camera. Yes, yeah, Olivia VTS has uh, best received, so thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, can I just have a quick radio check as well, if you'd be so kind? That's your VTS radio chirping in there. It's a very windy day out today. We've had gusts. Let's have a quick look back at the weather. What have the gusts been? Gusts have been. That's all received. There you go, gusting up to 30 knots. Unfortunately, that makes the old cameras wobble around, but this is P&S Britannia, just arriving from... Craig Lee, uh, Britannia, Channel 74, please. Hey, Britannia, Britannia. Just arriving from Antigua and Barbuda. I think I would rather be in Antigua and Barbuda. Well, assuming they're not having hurricanes over there, of course. Yes, unusually, uh, we don't get, I don't often follow ship arrivals. We get those in the morning, uh, very early in the morning. But uh, this one's four o'clock in the afternoon. Very decent, very sensible time. Ahoy there, shipmates. Ahoy there, Elizabeth G's there. The ch and Ellie Burley. Ah, Deborah Spurs there. Ahoy, Deborah. Oh, echoey mic. Yes, I, uh, hang on. Let me try and sort my microphone out. Yeah, I, people mentioned that yesterday when I was testing it. It didn't really occur to me. I thought it was the. New, I thought it was the new room, but I think something's working that's not supposed to be working. Let me have a look. It's always a, always a technological challenge. All this sort of thing. There we go. That should be better. That should have got rid of the reverb. I was trying to make it so that uh, when I needed to, I could say the biggest cruise ship in the world and have it all echoey. And I couldn't get that to work for a long time. And then all of a sudden it's randomly started working, but all the time. Oh dear, the wind's blowing the picture away here. Yeah. Right, Britannia's just passing the Fawley Deep. On her way up to 106 berth. That's up here in the Port of Southampton. So it's three cruise ships departing today. Uh, bizarrely, Britannia's here for only a short time, really. Docks at four o'clock and off again at eight o'clock. Well, they should make Terry Sylvie says there's a deep echo. It's a deep echo gone. I think I've got rid of the echo. If it hasn't, if it hasn't gone, then I'm at a loss. But I think the echo should have gone now. There should be no echo, echo. Oh, shipmate Steve Sunny sounds like a big refit. Oh, that's a true. I don't know where she's off to next. I've uh, not looked into that. I've arrived here all of a sudden. Oh dear, I have problems with the cameras. I've noticed when it's windy, it does tend to blow the signal away. Oh, there's a small yacht out there. No sails up today. Come on, cameras. It's like coaxing coaxing children out of bed. They get up for a bit, work for a bit, and you turn your head and they've all gone back. Oh, Ellie Murley says Echo's gone. Oh, good. Well, I can bring the Echo back when I need it. Well, that's good to know. Then. Uh, oh, George Demitz says leave tomorrow at three, uh, one o'clock. Oh, I had a down for leaving this evening at eight o'clock. Let's have a quick check. Obviously, they do change the times. Oh, yes. Well, she is leaving at 8 o'clock this evening just to go to... Uh, uh, just across from 106 to 46 berth. Yes, then departing at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And she's just shuffling berths this afternoon. I didn't look much further than that. Yep, so she's obviously just here like them. So what? maybe off for a refit. Who knows? That's... Come on, camera. I'm trying to get my other camera working. It's it's annoying. Come on, camera. Salamanca VTS, thank you for watching. Right there. Let's have a look, is it actually working? Oh, it's gone dark again. Come on, cameras. VTS, VTS, Wittonia. 
Wait, sign you, Richard. Yeah, good afternoon. I'd like to shift, please, from the Wit Challenger on 23 to 22 berth. It almost looks like there's a bit of sun out there, doesn't it? Oh, it's only a bit of Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a funny old day. I've been out today and uh, this morning. I was out round about town and one minute it's windy, next minute it's raining, next minute it's sunny. Rural April showers type weather. Okay, Red Osprey, happening. Red Osprey, Fargate. I think that, um, are you staying in position where you are? If so, we'll uh, push over to the Reds once we're clear of the Falcon to your green screen. Okay, you push over to the Reds, Cap. I'm just hanging here for the uh, Britannia over. Okay, thank you. Ah, yes, the uh, other ships in the area making way for Britannia. There'll be a couple of ferries. We should be able to see the ferries. And soon. VTS, Red Osprey, approaching Northwest Valley. We should carry on. Yes, yes, it's safe to do. Thank you. Oh, there, David Limbrick. That's uh, good afternoon, Captain. Good team. BTS, Red Jet 6, good afternoon. Now, oh, good to see you. Red Jet 6, BTS, uh, Good to be back, shipmate. BTS, Red Jet 6, shortly away from Royal Pier, round to Town Key, please, for the uh, 1535. Red Jet 6, BTS, yes, that's fine, sir. Uh, the Red Osprey's uh, northwest at the inbound. Thanks. All copy, thanks. Yeah, it seems to be having a few gremlins with some of my other cameras at the moment. Oh, look, there's a patch of sun there. Hey, isn't, that, isn't that delightful? Hi there, shipmate Calvin. It's great to see the ships returning. Yes, it has been a long winter. Uh, great thing about this time of year, the clocks have gone forward. I was going to say hopefully the west weather's better and clearer, but well, yeah, we all know how that's going. But it is lighter later, so we'll get some better shots of the ships. And of course, the number of ships in port picks up as well. Just causing a... Yeah, weather does cause an issue with the Wi-Fi, though, for some reason, on the, with the cameras. I'm not sure if it's because they're blowing and wobbling around, or maybe they just don't like the wind. Quick look on the map. Oh, you haven't got the map, have you? Oh, dear. I'm all like sixes and sevens here. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Yeah, there we go. See, there's Britannia. She's just coming up Southampton Water. Here, approaching the dock head, but a way to go, just going past Netley Cam. And then you get one of the ferries. Oh, it looks like we call a tug in tow as well. I did hear something mentioned about a tug. Could be uh, that it is a little bit windy out there today. I said earlier, let's have a quick look at the weather. Yeah, we're still gusting up to 30 knots. So, yeah, that's quite, uh, it's quite windy. It'll definitely be the sort of weather the world they'll bring a tug in. Oh dear, though, look at the poor old cameras wobbling around. I've seen VTS all the seats, thank you. Uh, Red Jet 6 uh, just moving from the Royal Pier round to the Town King. I've got a new camera coming in the, probably in the next month or so. I just have to sort out installation, and that'll be down at the end of Southampton Water with a great view of the Solent and Bramble Bank. Take a little while to sort it out, but I've basically been given the go ahead. I just need to, to plan the installation. It's gonna, I, was, I was gonna say it's gonna be a bit tricky, but it's not gonna be too bad. It will uh, take a little bit to get it working. Can't seem to get my other camera working that I've got temporarily out at the moment. No, it's not playing ball. I might go and give it a quick reboot a second. Hold your horses.
Right, I've tried the old trick of turning it off and on again. Let's hope that makes a difference. Unfortunately, we're down cruise cam at the moment. That's hidden behind scaffolding, so you can't see anything from cruise cam, unfortunately. Oh, shipmate Ben Joyce is sat in Highs Marina watching her come down. Apparently, before I start having to work alongside her ocean turtle soon. Oh, interesting to hear that, Ben Joyce. Hope you're keeping out of the rain. It looks like we have scattered rain showers at the moment. I wonder what shipmate Ben Joyce will be doing. Maybe giving her a lick of paint. Or you'd be doing something more exciting. Ah, oh, shipmate Auntie G. And interesting, she said, just spoken to a friend on board. No one's allowed to disembark until tomorrow morning from 46 birth. Ah, oh, okay. So they get to spend an evening at 106 birth. The, the, the lights of Ikea in the distance, warmly glowing. Uh, shipmate adds false says, how long is scaffolding up for? Well, it's, it's a, being a big delayed refurbishment. The building's a cladding replacement was supposed to have come down in towards May, but the scaffolding was about three or four months delayed going up. I know there's been some other delays, so I don't know. There's no, I think it's towards the end of this year, sort of September, October time, unfortunately. Not much I can do about that, so though people have suggested cutting a hole in the, uh, the netting that's around it, so I can have a better view, but I'm not really sure that's allowed. Oh, shit, wait, Ben Joyce is baggage handling. Ah, uh, storms causing issues with the baggage handling and the ships arriving. Oh, I'm not surprised, shipmate. It is it is quite stormy out there, but it does look quite bright. Bit of, bit of a picture break up there. I'm guessing if you were standing there on those little wing bridges, the well deck there, they would be blown around. Ah, oh, shipmate, Walter Clarence off on Arvia. Coming down to Southampton for a few days before, a few days beforehand. Shipmate, that's also what we should we'll be seeing ships in. Well, we'll see them on the on the other cameras, but no, unfortunately, cruise cam is is hidden. Yeah, it's rather disappointing. Uh, no, my other camera isn't working either. Oh, hi there, Scat Pack Bob. And Scapper Box says, Please get some grog. Help yourself, shipmate. I've just checked. The, it's difficult to tell, but I'm pretty sure the sun is past the yard arm. So, yeah, knock yourself out. Yes, it looks like that is will be tug assistance for the docking of Britannia. And those lucky people get to spend a day in port. I'm trying my best to get this other camera working, but it's, it was working briefly and now it's decided that it's not going to work. Oh, very frustrating, these cameras sometimes. Of course, they're a joy when they're working. I should actually say that generally they're very good. But occasionally they can, they can be a bit wonky. Boy, there, Dawn Gressel from a cold Derbyshire, she says. Why, why is the temperature in port at the moment then? Uh, it's uh, 13C here in Port Shipmates, so not desperately warm. It's not cold. Well, there, Shipmate Ray Morris says, uh, have I been hibernating? Well, sort of. I must say the winter is not the best months for broadcasting ships' TVs. The weather means it's very dark, and if it's wet and windy... Want some shelter, 
it's poor picture quality and there's less ships so it doesn't really help i definitely as soon as the clocks go forward it's uh, the activity picks up the weather's i was gonna say the weather should be better but you know we all know how that is but it's brighter uh, it's lighter later and of course there's more ships in port so yeah so when the when the ships when the ships know when the clocks go forward it's definitely better that's uh, just take in the number of crew as well please Line three crew. That's all received, so thank you. Uh, no immediate traffic at this time. Uh, looking ahead, the next boarding at the NAB, the independent future container vessel 1615. Right, I've tried a, another technical, turn it off and turn it back on again. Once I get the camera actually running, it's pretty decent, but uh, sometimes it's it's it just won't start up properly. Uh, when I contacted technical support about it, it's it's quite complicated. The camera has, um, if you can imagine, two or three computers inside it. What happens is one of the computers wants to start before the other one's ready, and then it won't it won't start properly. They don't really know why. They just their solution was to turn it off and back on again. I would have thought there'd been something more technically appropriate than that, but never mind. There we go. There's our two tugs. Hardly surprising considering the weather. Oh, there we go. It's pointing at the wall. That wall. What more than wall? Yeah, she is going past the dock head. See a few people out on their balconies, brave souls, or if they're on the uh, starboard side, they'll be out of the wind. Oh, come on, camera. I need to get the camera working. It's uh, just not working. It was working 10 minutes before I went live. It's almost like they know, you know, they just know. As soon as you press the live button and start broadcasting, they go, oh, I'm well, not sure I like this. I'm just going to gonna go wonky for a bit. Come on, camera. It says it's on the network, but it's just not firing up. <laughs> Early Murley says you still get someone watching the wall. Yeah, it's surprising what people watch, isn't it? <laughs> Although, saying that, considering the things you see on television these days, it could be more interesting. Some people on television seem to have as much personality as a brick wall. Oh, come on, camera. No, oh, I think we might have to give up on this, although I have one more camera. So once Britannia is past the See, she's just heading now past the dock head here. So we're slowing down. This is a speed limit here of five knots. So she'll be slowing down, making her way carefully. Tugs in attendance. Ah, I think just in time. Might be able to get it working. Come on, it's a race against time now. <laughs> uh, 
station for the weekend. Ah, oh, yes. Timing is excellent. Oh, oh look at this. Ready, all we just all received. Thank you. The Red Falcon is just coming up to the hookup. There we go. Get to see Britannia and her tugs. Oh, yes, you can see a few people out, a few shipmates out on their balcony enjoying the arrival. Oh dear, it's a bit wonky, isn't it? <laughs> I know I know. someone's going to buy me a spirit level, aren't they? I can tell. It's only a, only a temporary installation at the moment. I just quickly whacked it up uh, for this afternoon arrival. That's a different tug. What tug's this then? I don't know what tug that is. It's funny, you take your eye off the port for five minutes and everything changes. What tug's this then? I think we Oh, we've got the Craig Leaf at the rear. I don't think I've seen that one before. And the Spitzer Bargate at the pointy end. Ah, new tugs. Does look like Britannia could do a lick of paint down the side there, though. See some rust patches. Uh, someone mentioning earlier, sorry, I've forgotten your. Forgotten, I forgot who it was. Someone mentioned that there was some damage to repair from some previous incident. I'm not sure if that was when she was broken mooring lines. I thought it was Britannia, was it? Ah, George Smith, shipmate George Emmett says Queen Anne comes in suit. Yes, that's the end of the month. Could be quite exciting. There's going to be a whole flotilla of boats heading up Southampton Water. So I'm trying to persuade Captain Marty to uh, take his boat out for that. I'm trying to work out... VTS, Red Falcon, look out. Red Falcon, VTS, thank you. Ready, you'll just leave in Calvin. Trying to work out. Try to work out how to integrate that into a live stream. Yes, we're telling you all fast on twenty-two. We're telling you VTS received. Thank you. Thank you. Now we haven't seen this view for a while. Have a shipmate. So it looks like a bit of impending weather out there. Though. What tug do we have? Some look at the tug. Oh yeah, it's bits of Bargate at the front. You brave shipmates out on the deck there at the front. Does look good seeing the cruise ships coming to port. I can say it's very rare we see this during the day. This is very much a morning activity. And doesn't make a change to see them in the afternoon. Oh, hi there, shipmate Matt Carter. It's been a leading half six months. How many thanks, shipmate, for your support? There's uh, great pictures. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, shipmate. I'm uh, glad you're liking the pictures. Well, maybe we aim to do better. <laughs> yeah, make them, straight, make them straighter. Don't know quite why it's so wonky. It didn't look too bad when I put it up there. <laughs> Uh, Adfos says, will this camera have its own live feed like next year? No, 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 it's just a temporary one for this afternoon arrival. I have uh, I have some more cameras coming, so they will, we will, I will be sorting it out. It's just a temporary one for the moment, though. And of course, that's the old view that you all like. It's a ferry. Red funnel ferry, look at that. Oh, it looks a bit straighter on this way, doesn't it? Oh, it's a bit, uh, bit juddery with these controls. Well, so Michelle, so that's the All received, thank you. Independent future, uh, boarding 1615 pilot station, bravo. Oh, shipmate Dean Willis has got his gold anchor for two years today. Oh, well done, shipmate. Very impressive. Yep, she's heading down to the other end of port. We've got a... Uh, Got a uh, oil tanker in Mayflower, just off of Mayflower Park at the moment. The golf launch. Not quite sure what she's doing there. I think that's probably. A quick look on the screen. Yeah, you'll see there. You go. See, there's the oil tanker. She's just coming up on the oil tanker. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the oil tanker's doing there. I'm guessing some sort of repair work, maybe, because she was. I think she was down at Fawley earlier. 
So uh, Britannia will be down here at 106 for a while and heading back to 46 tomorrow, disappearing. Well, actually no, heading to 46 this evening, heading to 46 this evening, yeah. Uh, shipmate Ben Joyce says, where are the new camera locations? I don't really like to make them too public until I've actually actually confirmed and got something in there. So pretty much once it's live, you'll know. Otherwise, they'll be not hidden, but I don't like to uh, say too much in case it doesn't go ahead. It takes quite a lot to persuade people to put a camera up. Oh, hello. Looks like Screwfix is there today. I've seen quite a lot of Screwfix lately. That weather, it's just look, yeah, uh, it's coming and going, isn't it? BTS, red jet, six, shortly away from town key. Red jet six, BTS, all received, thank you. Uh, the red falcon uh, just ran a cow shot outbound, and the uh, uh, red eagle, I believe, uh, just. Uh, leaving cows in. Oh, copy that. Oh, there's a the new tog. The Kraglith. Oh, hello, shipmate. Robbie's Adventures on the Mobility Scooter. Welcome aboard, mate. Thanks for subscribing. I do appreciate you subscribing. Quite simple. Just hit that button that says subscribe somewhere. I, I appreciate lots of you watching on a smart TV. It's not so easy to do, but it certainly helps the channel out. Gets those promotions going. Yeah, oh, that's a new tug. Not seen that one. I'll have to have to read up on that. I've got a, there's the. Oh, we can just about see the edge of the oil tanker, the big uh, wing bridge sticking out at the side there. So you're heading off to 106 berth. The question is, will she be down? Uh, docking immediately or going for a little swing at the end? She might go for a swing at the end. Ah, oh, shipmate Ben Joyce says the oil tank has been seized by the MCA. No information why, but she came in yesterday. Yeah, it's not often we see oil tankers in this part of the port. Normally they only go to Fawley and back out again. The only time I've ever seen them in port before is for maintenance work. But uh, if shipmate Ben Joyce is right and it's been seized by the MCA, then I imagine she's got some safety concerns. Uh, George Emmett says the tug is normally based in Rossai. It does sound like a Scottish name, doesn't it, Craigley? Sounds like the Edinburgh area of Edinburgh. Now, quite a number of shipmates out getting a bit of fresh air, probably getting a fresh air before their afternoon tea. Well, looks like Mr. Cootie could do with a bit of a scrub on his roof. That green stuff on his roof. Very dirty. Yeah, so apparently off for a refit to... Uh, actually, does anyone know where she's off to re refit? Where Britannia's off for a refit? I, I... is will she be heading down the docks or will she dock straight away oh look there's one of those container ships with a green front to it lng powered i would suggest that means i'm not just reading that off the side of the ship <laughs> actually no you see that on quite a few of the ships these days they have a, some sort of green design to them that swinging round yes yeah, so i don't know um if i if i was clever i would look up i could probably tell you which side 
pretend you would be docking on. She goes behind this oil tanker here. Which apparently has been a naughty boy. Let's have a look. Let's have a look if we can see which side she will be. It's our starboard side too. Oh, so she will be going down the far end and turning round. Oh, well, I might keep this on though, although the weather looks like it's closing in. Oh, yeah, Kevin 2 has already beat me to it. Yep, George Emmett says AIDS, Nova's LNG powered. Yeah, quite a few of the row rows these days coming in are LNG powered, container ships LNG powered, and uh, you've got some of the cruise ships who are Arvia, Iona, LNG powered as well. Oh, I see. Uh, George Vickers says they've skipped a port. They couldn't dock at Porto Delgado, on the advice of the Portuguese pilots, so they're docking at Mayflower Terminal. They can't get off until tomorrow. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, Britannia is going to be starboard side too, so that's probably as much as we're going to see of her there. Although saying that, she'll probably turn around because she has got a 106 berth and she's only going to be, she's not actually docking, she's only mooring up for the evening. That makes sense. There we go, we can show you here. So this, I need to log into, oh God, I need to log into Vessel Finder. I think so I'm, uh, it's giving me adverts. Yeah, so here is Britannia with a couple of tugs in tow. Oh, it looks like, to be asked me, she's going up to the upper swing ground. Oh, we'll keep an eye on her. Then she'll, we'll see it at the upper swing ground, swing ground, and then she'll disappear out of sight when she docks. Pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, she was out of view behind this unsafe tanker, potentially tanker with safety issues. Yeah, so we do have the Queen Anne to look forward to at the end of the month. Like I say, she's coming in with a flotilla of ABP of requested that flotilla of boats come up Southampton Water about 9.30. All the way, all the way up to... Uh, oh, actually, I don't know where she's going. I think she's going to Ocean Terminal. Let's have a look. Yeah, don't have that yet, so. I think she's going to Ocean Terminal. Oh, anyway, so we'll, yeah, well, we'll come up to Southampton Water. So the question is, do I do I follow her from the water? I think we'll try and give it a go, I think, because it'll be quite entertaining if there's going to be that many boats there. Oh, no, no, she's... Oh, no, actually, she might be docking. No, no she might well be docking, because you know she's just slowing down and getting closer. Yeah, slowing down and getting close to what she's doing now. Three knots. Yeah, so perhaps she is docking. Perhaps she's going to dock starboard side two and then uh, spin around tomorrow. Well, spin around this evening on her way to uh, Ocean Terminal. Yeah, it looks like she's docking there. Oh, well. Never mind. I thought perhaps we might get to. Oops. I thought perhaps we might get to see see the ship, but uh, it looks like that's going to be it. Ship. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick one. I'm, now the clocks have gone forwards. The, uh, well, the weather's better. It's lighter. More ships coming to port. I'll probably get around to do a few more broadcasts, uh, especially now. Can I get a few more cameras up as well? Good times. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, shipmates. I'm just going to keep watching just no it looks she's definitely uh she's definitely going yeah she's definitely going to dock never mind all right many thanks for that sh shipmates for all your subscribingness uh patreonishness donations general support for the channel all the positive words always great to talk to you all 
I hope you enjoyed that one. And I'm probably going to try one on Friday if I can get some of this technology straightened out. <laughs> Give it a good stern talking to is what I should do. Just what it needs sometimes. Good stern talking to. Right, there we go, shipmates. Right, I shall leave you. And hope you have a good day. And probably see you on Friday. Till next time, shipmates. <laughs>